In the coming years, and with great probability, as scientists say, in July 2025, we may face a once-in-a-century space weather catastrophe, a solar storm, and this could lead to a blackout. And the most interesting thing that we are interested in is what we call the Internet apocalypse, that is, a blackout of the Internet. Let's talk a little bit about the sun to better understand the subject. Solar storms are sudden and intense magnetic activity that occurs on the surface and in the atmosphere of the sun. The sun is a sphere of gas made of charged particles called plasma. In the interior of the sun, the movement of these plasma-charged particles creates a strong magnetic field. Solar storms are often associated with certain solar activities, such as sunspots or flares of magnetic radiation. In these activities, magnetic field lines often entangle or converge, causing energy to build up and be released. This released energy can cause explosions and flares on the solar surface. During these flares, charged particles and electromagnetic radiation are released from the sun into space. Nearly a century ago in May 1921, fires suddenly broke out simultaneously in electrical and telegraph control rooms in many parts of the world, including the United States and England. In the Karlstad Exchange Office in Switzerland, the employees noticed the smell of smoke. They first realized that there was something wrong with their electrical equipment, and then they realized that there was a fire that was severely damaging their equipment, and at that time there were various fires in many parts of the world, and this was a hundred years ago. And the intermittent solar storms lasted for three days. And in those days, electrical appliances were just beginning to be used, so what would be the consequences if this happened in our time, in 2025, as they say? We will talk this at the end of the video. Another fire in New York at that time caused an entire building to burn down. So what are these solar storms that occur every 100 years? Solar storms are peaks of solar activity that occur on an 11-year cycle. These cycles are the result of fluctuations in the sun's magnetic activity, which can increase solar radiation and the impact of charged particles towards Earth. Therefore, the phrase solar storms that occur every 100 years actually refers to the peaks of the solar cycle that recur on average every 11 years. So these 11-year cycles are called solar maximum, or Schwalbe cycles, and they also represent fluctuations in solar activity over a large period of time, ranging from 70 to 90 years, and this is called the Gleisberg cycle. Yes, as we just mentioned, solar activity repeats every 11 years, and scientists have researched that since 1700 there have been exactly 24 solar activity events, what we call solar maxima, and scientists have recorded them all. And the strongest solar storm ever recorded occurred in 1859, and this was called the Carrington event, which caused auroras to be seen in many parts of the world so we know that this was a very strong solar storm. But because people were just starting to use electrical appliances at that time, the effects of this event were not so noticeable. Yes, but in the last few years, these solar storms have been seen again, but always to a lesser degree, not to a higher degree. And the important question for us is, if we face such a violent event in our day, how will it affect the world we live in? We are now entering the 25th solar cycle solar cycle, and scientists predict that the activity of the sun will start to strengthen again, and the time when this new cycle will reach its maximum, the solar maximum, is July 2025, and it's very difficult to say exactly when it will happen, as these storms are natural disasters, but because it coincides with certain periods, experts are making predictions based on this. When there is a strong solar storm, there may be power outages all over the world, but if this affects the internet world, then things may not be so good. It is difficult to say anything about it, because if we look at the last years when the internet has spread rapidly, we have not experienced such a severe event. But on various sites, you can calculate the cost and the loss to the world of an internet outage, and these figures are not small at all. If we calculate this with a one-week internet outage in the world, it is about half a trillion dollars. Yes, even if this event does not directly affect human life, it seems that it will cause the disruption of many jobs indirectly. Online workers, 
those who spend their lives earning money only on the Internet, and almost everyone seems to be affected by this. But it seems that almost everyone will be affected a little bit. Of course, while talking about these things, it should not be forgotten that once again, only scientists have predicted whether these things will happen or not. Looking at the past years, in July 2025 this event is predicted to happen. We will see how it will affect our world. We will continue to follow and research this topic. Every comment and like you make is very important for us to continue. Do not forget to subscribe. See you in another video. Take care of yourself.